Legend, Richmond Football Club, eat them alive. Why wouldn't you be here? I mean, hey, I'm one of two blue Richmond supporter. My grandfather loved watching him and so is the whole family, so I guess that's why I backed the Richmond. Others had more of a connection. This is Struggle Town, this is Richmond, and I suppose he just, what, he symbolises everything what Richmond's all about, doesn't he? Talking about uh, the father, father of Richmond, I suppose, so... And just seeing all those great past players there and everything, it would have been, it's, a, it's a fantastic experience for, for everybody that went there, but especially for the players. And then there were some who will forever be indebted to Jack Dyer, riding on his coattails in the flying 40s when the Tigers reigned supreme. There was only one in a generation that you happened to, uh, to get that type of, uh, of uh, legend. Yeah. And he was, certainly was a legend at Richmond. He's always said, nice to be amongst nice people. When family arrived, the time was right to ask Jack's sister to release 312 yellow and black balloons to float over the stand named in his honour and drift in memory of every game he played. Every Thursday night he'd give me a billy and say, go up and get some milk, uh, melted milks from Oscar and ask him if I'm in the team because he used to telephone through to the club and he would post the team in the window and Oscar would say, yes, he's in, he's in. <laughs> On Sunday at the MCG, there'll be one final farewell, the club planning a minute silence before the match, while a giant number 17 will be painted on the ground, the players to wear the famous number on the front of their jumper. Embroidered just above their hearts, that's the place now reserved for Jack by every true tiger. He was my brother. Yeah. So there he was wasn't no... a hero, he was my brother. Tiger Anthony Nithin, National Nine News.